To conclude our look at Dreamweaver and CSS and CSS layouts, I want to finally show you those uh, templates I was talking about. And you can create those in a few different ways. The easiest way to use this uh, dashboard here. Another way you can go File, New, and you can choose Blank Page. And then you got all these options here we're going to go through. Now, you don't want to go Blank Template and Page from Template and page from sample because these template tools here are really designed for situations where you may be working with another team of Dreamweaver users and these quote unquote Dreamweaver templates here are uh, used in that situation. And I'm not gonna cover that in this video. What we wanna look at is these blank page templates and we can go HTML, and we don't want to choose HTML template, we're going to choose HTML. And here we have a whole bunch of layouts. These are all predefined layouts, and you can see how the, uh, the little thumbnail here gives us an idea of how the layouts will work. For instance, if you have a little spring, that means the layout is flexible, will stretch and the text, it's, text will stretch and flow depending on how big the browser window is. Whereas here, if you have a lock on it, you know that the layout is set and solid. And we, uh, we demoed that in our own layouts that we made before. So typically, liquid would imply a liquid layout, a flexible layout. So we have all kinds of different options here, two column, three column, whatever you want. So I'm going to go with, let's say, uh, two column, liquid layout, right sidebar. Now, doc type. This is something I, had, I haven't addressed before. Doc type basically is, um, as you see, we got different options here. In a nutshell, the doc type is basically the um, is the rules that the engines will use to process your code. So, how can I explain this? You see, there are different versions of HTML: HTML strict, transitional, and then there's something called XHTML, which is very very similar to HTML, but it's different. Then you have different versions of XHTML, transitional, strict, and so on. The code looks very similar, and only code monkeys will really see the difference. It's very subtle. The key to the doc type, it basically gives instructions to the browser what type of code you're creating so that it can use the best engine to process that code. I hope that makes sense. So we have a whole bunch of types here. I always tell people to use HTML strict or transitional, not XHTML. I'm not going to get into the reasons here, but for now, just use HTML 4.01 strict. So what that will do is we'll tell Dreamweaver to, first of all, Dreamweaver will insert, insert this doc type code in the page telling the browser what the code's about. And at the same time, the code that Dreamweaver will create will be HTML 4.01 strict. So, uh, yeah. We'll go with that. So layout.css. Now, what's this? It's asking us here, the code to create this layout, do you want to add it to the head of the page? Now, the head refers to piece of the page in between the, um, on top of the body. I'll show you that in a second. It's basically embedding the code in the page, or do you want to create a new file to embed that code, the code to create this layout, or do you actually want to link to an existing file? So we're going to say just add it to the head. I'm going to go create. So here's our page. We've seen this before. So let's take a look at the code. Scroll up. And now, what is this? Minimize all these. So you see head. And we scroll down and head. That's the head. The head section of a web page is a section that contains all kinds of miscellaneous information, mostly for the browser that uh, people don't actually see. So nobody's going to see this, right? They're not going to see this, this code appear in the pages. Anything that users see is going to be in between the body and body tags. So as you can see here, not only do we have all the CSS rules that we need to create our page generated for us by Dreamweaver here, but they've also tagged the divs with the proper IDs to create this layout here. Let's preview this. I have to save changes, so let me save that. 
So whenever you add a new page from a template, you're going to save it. So I'm going to call it uh, DW template. So here we go. Here's our page. And we said, give us a liquid layout of flows. And here we go. So now, instead of having to fudge around with trying to get our layout to work, it's all ready for us. All we have to do is go in there and add our own content. So we go welcome to the page. And we say, uh, our own main menu. And we can just put in our own, our own text, right? This is just like using Microsoft Word. So uh, you get the idea. And you can drop in images as you normally would. I hit enter, insert image. And I'll put the reading man here. I'll just, I won't put any alternate text for the sake of uh, what we're doing. Save that. Preview that of 12. So as you can see, I'm able to build up a page really, really quickly by using a template. So you can see, uh, if we go in, we got our uh, see, we got our DW template here. Let's see the CSS. See all the CSS that's been added to our page. Now that doesn't stop us. We can add our own CSSs. So we can go in here. Let's redefine the tag. Let's say our paragraphs. Paragraphs. Here we go. In this document only. So we're going to say the font style for our paragraphs Times New Roman. And we're going to do something bad. We're going to make it all bold, which is really stupid. But for the sake of demo, save that. F12. So here we go. So as you can see, with the template, we can add our own rules. And we can do all kinds of funky stuff. And it saves us a lot of time. If you notice how much time it took me to show you how to just create a new page from a template versus having to build it from scratch. Another great thing about these templates is that they've been debugged. The, uh, the good people at Adobe have worked hard to make sure that these templates work consistently in all the browsers. You're going to have much less had headaches and hassles with, uh, with your layouts. And one last bonus, as you can see, you see this slash forward slash star and the closes slash star forward slash. These are what you would call comments. And essentially, these are uh, instructions left to us by the people at Dreamweaver who created these templates for us. And these instructions tell us why they're doing certain things. And this is, uh, this is a good way you can actually learn from their work and you can learn how they do certain things and why they do certain things if you decide to become a real code monkey. Yet another reason to use the Dreamweaver templates is you can see how these people, who you can be guaranteed, have spent a lot of time working on this stuff to make it work. It, uh, it will save you headaches. Why, why reinvent the wheel? Just see what they've done and you can build out from there.